Welcome to Refashion Your Life. I'm Megan Pyra. And I'm Shalise Hadley. But then I can feel like people going, well, how do I, how do I find that higher power? Right. And it right. takes us to, well, you have to seek him. Yes. Find, find God. Find that higher power and have it in your life. So there's that country song, right? I saw God today. I saw God today. I love that and song. <laughs> what does, you know, he says he saw it in his kids. Mm -hmm. In that flower, in, in the, the crack in the, the crack side. in the sidewalk, yes. and you know, just in our world around us, you yeah. know, we just, you've just got to think that someone created this. Yes. Someone created mm -hmm. us. We are creators, so we can create more light. We create people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I have to share my experience. So it's been the full moon, like the past three days, and so on my way to go to the gym at you know five o'clock in the morning well 4 50 in the morning uh, the moon is just so magnificent and it just sits off so I dr I'm driving towards it and it just made me realize that I may be little significant in this universe but I am powerful and I am important and these things matter to me right and in a way it was like I felt like I connected to mm. God that way like oh I have gratitude and recognize that right who I am right because you make a difference Yes. Everybody makes, makes a, difference. a difference. And in the end, it will matter. Yes. We have talked about this before. It will Several matter <laughs> who, who we have helped. It yeah. will matter how we've spent our time. It will matter who we have loved. Have we yeah. shown him love? Right. Have we given gratitude? It will matter the things that we do. It's not like we're just here and we're done. Yeah. Like make the most of whatever time you have here. And what you said, you know, makes a good point. I, I work with a lot of people who are low in energy mm -hmm. and I, you know, help them get their vibration up. And, you know, one thing that I notice is they're always like, well, I, God won't help me. God, this, I want this from him. And I prayed for this, 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 and this, and this. And I always say, well, what have you done for him today? And they're always like, well, I don't know. Well, what would he want me to do? And I'm like, well, what do you think? You're, you're here to help others, influence others, create that better life for yourself and others. But what have you done for him? What would he want you to do? We wouldn't want you to sit here and loathe in this negative energy. Right. Raise your vibration. Affect somebody else's life for the good. Be the good. Right. And it doesn't have to be big things. No. Mm -hmm. To affect someone's life, it can be simply by smiling at them when no right. one has made eye contact with them at all that the day. whole day. Or yeah. even recognize that they are around or exist or I mean I think about the checkers when I go to the grocery store sometimes okay. there's checkers that like greet you and hi that they, you yeah. know yeah and you may be on your phone and you're like yeah hi uh-huh I'm checking out <laughs> and then there's some checkers that say hi and just check your thing and they don't ever really look at you right you know right it's like but they're doing you this service so I can put my phone away and hello yes thank you you know right I mean, just something simple. Read as that. their name tag. Yes, say, I always do. That. I know you do. I'm like, I've learned that from you. I'm like, oh, I always say thank you, Bob, or thank you, Kathy, and it kind of takes them off guard for yes. a second. Yeah, but it recognizes them and who they are. Yes, I like that. I like that. I have learned that from you. <laughs> if we've recognized the light in others, and what we can call it light now, right? If you yeah. didn't before, right? And maybe your own light, okay. and your own times of darkness. Right, and hopefully, um, you know, our viewers would want to, for lack of saying it better, go towards the light. <laughs> like, like, like you seek. would want, you would want to seek more yeah. of that light and that goodness and well, that positive. Well, who does it? Yeah, in your life. Yeah. So they're gonna. How do they how, pull it? Yes. Yeah. How 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 do they go about that? Well, see, I I believe that we are strong very spiritual energetic beings mm -hmm. so we know when truth is there you just know it if you listen with your heart yes. and not your mind yes because you don't know all the questions that's why you're seeking you don't know all the answers so just quit thinking about it and what you feel the truth will radiate it'll radiate it'll be there and you'll be like I have found a truth yes and then keep seeking because there are lots out there and right after you get that is when your head starts going yeah is yes. when doubt and fear uh -huh. and nope nope <laughs> nope and so that's so true you kind of have to not disconnect the two but it's like when Get you neutral. feel that thing in your heart it's yeah. like you have to go with that gut feeling i agree what was your gut instinct on that before everything else came in uh -huh. or anyone else adds their opinion it's like it's like putting out what your baby name is 
everybody yeah, has, has an, an opinion, you know? yep. and then you're like, oh, well, uh, uh, I know? like it, yes, right, yeah. so it's like, you have to go with what you feel here, right, that gut, instinct. first instinct, yes, yes, before everything else comes in and clouds it, because okay. yeah. um, there's that story that we know about the match, yes, my favorite, one of my favorites, well, you, you tell oh. it then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good visual. If you're it in is. a complete room of um, darkness, no light at all, and imagine yourself lighting a match. Well, the match lights and it pushes away the darkness. But no matter how long you stand there, the darkness cannot overcome that light. I just love I know. It's one of my favorite things. There's um, uh, a link I think we'll put out there to yeah. watch this visual. So you can see this visual happen on this really short two minute video that's just amazing. But I love that, you know, because you're right. I've thought about that, you're right. No matter how long you sit there, that light's gonna push that darkness, but nothing, right. it's not gonna, the darkness will not affect the light. Right, and I like to think of myself as that match. You yes, okay. yeah. So here I am, and no matter how much darkness I feel, or whatever state I'm in, yeah. I am always it can never overcome me completely. Right. It may kind of bring it yeah, in. It, yeah. You know, the, kind of the flame fl flickers because things are getting pushed right. around, but it's still there. The it core never, is still it there. It never overtakes it. Mm -hmm. so no. I love that. I know. Gave me chills. <laughs> <laughs> because of my beliefs and the way I was brought up and who I know I am, I pray a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you do too. Yes. <laughs> that I love knowing and believing that there is someone higher out there someone right. who is listening to me someone who created me someone who's looking out for me right someone um who wants to bless me and help me and so i love to talk to that person that lot you know through prayer right if you want to call it prayer or just talking you know right. it's not that i'm always arms folded head bowed eggs you know yes you i can be at the grocery store mm -hmm. talking to god yes <laughs> you know? my favorite place i i do like to humble myself and get on my knees and do that but my my honestly my favorite place to have a conversation with heavenly father is doing my dishes oh. i just you know it's like okay and sometimes i know i have a dishwasher but i will hand wash them because i'm having this conversation with him you know what today's a little bit tough you know what i need your help or some days it's like Thank you. Thank you. I am happy. I am feel your gratitude. I feel your love wrapping me. And this is why. And sometimes it's just, I don't know. I have a lot of people who come to me from that are different denominations mm -hmm. and beliefs, but it's all the same. They're like, oh, I can just walk around and have a conversation right. with him. I'm right. like, I have out loud conversations with him all the time. Right. Yeah. And, it, and for those that are seeking him or want some more of just, this light, mm -hmm. you can just talk. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it out loud. You right. You can. Right. but you don't have to and it can just be anything uh -huh. um, like that song that we love ask him all your questions and tell him all your fears that's one of my favorite songs just just start yes and it will bring more light into your life and mm -hmm. he will help you seek to find it and to recognize it if you're just unfamiliar with it yeah because he wants to guide you. He wants to direct you. He wants you to help you find your purpose, which we've talked about before. Exactly. And it's not that it's the purpose of your life, but a purpose for now. A for purpose now. for now. Yeah, that's perfectly said. You, you'll get it. You'll get your own. You you'll, will. You'll get it, and it'll be here, and you'll identify it, and it comes from that higher power.